Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. Our paper title Laser Induced Graphene Based Glucose Biofuel Cell. We develop laser induced graphene for potential application in glucose biofuel cell term cell or glucose sensor. Outline of the presentation Goal of the research Motivation Conventional glucose sensing techniques Review of the previous reported biofuel cell term cell for by sensor, development of biofuel cell uh, chemistry electrodes, experimental result, conclusion. Goal of our research Our uh, goal to develop porous substrate for making and cooling site of the catalytic active materials, develop catalytic active materials for making high active surface area of sensing electrode, to develop high electrodes for improving cell performance to make better relays by fencing system. Uh, target area design and fabrication of electrode using one step laser printing, integration of functional material with graphene based composite for optimizing the activity of integral materials. Introducing enzyme and non enzyme based electrode for biofuel cell. Uh, development of biofuel cell for cell power detection system. Diabetes is a disease that occurs when glucose level in body fluid is too high. Over the world, diabetes patient was 463 million in 2019, will proceed to raise 700 million by 2045. The total diabetes patient will increase 51% by 2045. So, uh, glucose level in human body fluid uh, blood 3.826.6, urine 0 to 0 0.8, sweat 0 0.27 to uh, 1.11. Uh, this amount of glucose level is sufficient for uh, making cell part glucose biosensor. Conventional glucose sensing techniques, electrochemical glucose sensing technique, calorimetric sensing. Pros of this existing technique are Rapid and synthetic response, easy to use or real time detection, small size commercial detector. The advantages of this technique are difficult to use for continuous monitoring, need external power source to operate, complicated processing. So, generated energy from cell powered biosensor is optional to the concentration of specific and light. So, basic principle of biofuel cell anodic oxidation and catalytic reduction generate power this power transfer to the NFC circuit and then display in the smartphone advantages of the SPB um, biofuel cell simple configuration no requirement of external source easy to miniaturize and fabrication Challenging issues for the SPV The SPV possesses poor energy due to poor safety. The SPV is in part improper conversion of energy, resulting low output power. The SPV requires some form of control instrument to quantify the sensor output. How to overcome the challenging issue? Improvement of catalytic material in electrode. Use suitable substrate materials for anchoring catalytic active materials. Apply active biological element on sensing electrode to optimize the electrode performance. Review of previous biofuel cell from SPVs. Here all the work published in energies. They used platinum iridium on carbon electrode as an anode. Carbon cloth as a cathode. The fabricated SVB detect glucose level 0 to 10 minimum, maximum power density of 6.3 microwatt per semester at cell voltage 0.25 volt. Open circuit voltage is 0 0.41 volt. So uh, the linearity is, uh, is fine but the power density is poor. So another word, they use anode as a bucket paper modified with enzyme. 
cathode also they use back paper uh, with enzyme so detection range of uh, glucose is 0 0.5 to 45 millimole and power density 67.86 micro per centimeter square at 0 0.354 open circuit potential is 6.82 volt the linearity of the SPV is quite poor but power density is very high another disadvantage of this work is uh, the actually bucket paper cannot be used in the integrated system so it is not scalable our proposed work high v type bipolar cell cancel for biosensor was designed and fabricated on plastic platform by special one step laser scrap technique uh, this technique form cross wrapping on the polyvinyl tape by laser burning uh, the form cross graphene was modified using reduced graphene oxide and multi oil carbonate composite by simple rock casting technique which improved electrical conductivity and stability by uh, the dentist graphene cross linking as in is primary acid sacrimester is on not only work as uh, as cross linking agent but also act as a electron transfer mediator Development of biofuel cell electrode. The conceptual design mapping of the biofuel cell electrode and deep chromatograph of the leak on the plastic platform. Um, the photomicrograph of the modified electrode uh, we uh, modified using uh, RGMWCMT and PBAC. Here is anode. Uh, we modified using uh, the A leak RGMWCMT PBAC using PQQ and Nepheon as anode and silver oxide and Nepheon as a cathode. Morphological study was conducted using APSM. Laser induced graphene is seen in figure A. In this figure we see the laser induced graphene sheet is not attached on the properly on the surface. So we modified using our uh, RGO and WCMT composite and make it plain surface and is very stable on the surface. And we functionalize using PBAC and this surface was uh, modified using different materials like uh, silver oxide and PQQ as another cathode. Electron transfer resistance was observed step by step modification of anodic electrode using EIS. EIS was recorded in 0.1 mole PBS containing 5 millivolt paracyanide uh, solution. Uh, we can see that leak showed higher RAT than any other modification of electrode. We also uh, observed uh, the Diffusion control process using a uh, cyclic voltammetry with different uh, scan rate, and we found that uh, the uh, anodic electrode showed a uh, diffusion control process. Polarization data were recorded in PBS with adding different conditions of glucose using linear swing voltammogram. We determined power density from the curve and plotted against density of the uh, fuel cell. The corresponding calibration curve of the uh, fuel cell was uh, plotted in figure C and we turned on the lead using 10 millimole glucose solution using uh, boosting of charge pump cycle. We also Conducted cyclic voltammetry of anode for different concentration of glucose and corresponding elevation curve uh, we showing in the figure B. So we obtained maximum power density of 11.3 microwatt per cm square at 0 0.2 um, uh, 0.5 volt. Detection range of 1.18 millimole. Open circuit voltage of uh, 0 0.365 volt. 
sensitivity of uh, 0.63 microwatt per centimeter square per millimole using LSB. Pyrus anode exhibited uh, 25.02 microampere per semi square per millimole using cycle voltammetry. Summarization of our work Laser induced graphene was successfully fabricated on captain tape. Cell port glucose biosensor was successfully fabricated on the leak conductive uh, substrate. The leak surface was modified using RGO immobile CNG composite and PBAC. Biolet was modified using enzyme PTQ with nephion and bivalent was modified using silver and nephion. A modified electrode uh, characterized using SCM and electrochemical technique. The fabricated uh, biofuel cell exhibited excellent conductive activity toward oxidation of glucose and reduction of oxygen. The fabricated bionet exhibited good electrochemical activity toward oxidation of glucose with high sensitivity. It is concluded that the fabricated cell port biosensor cum biofuel cell has ability to perform sensing application as well as biofuel cell technology. This work was supported by NSF and Department of Defense. We are grateful to all Bioelectronics Lab team members for their technical discussion and support. And especially thanks our director, Dr. Zayamas Thank you for your attention.